Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's been a while since the life and times of Roy Green and his unfortunate death on day three. Surrounded by monsters, zombies, I should say, trying to climb out of a window, panicking the whole way. Horrible, horrible death. But uh, anyway, I, I came into the game the other day, a couple days ago, and I noticed that they made a lot of updates. So I was pretty excited about that. It is an early access game. And I generally hate the concept of early access ever since those money-grubbing whores over at, uh, uh, whatever they're called, the people that made Castle Story. Uh, and, you know, they haven't made any updates to the game for like two months. So it's always nice to see an early access game that is actually getting developed. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and give this another shot. Uh, again, not not super experienced at this game, but um, it's awesome. I think it's, it's a great concept if you haven't tried it already. I'm going to go with a character named Jose Alvarez. Can I switch? There we go. Oh, they switched my name back, damn it. Bastards. I have a story for this guy. We'll see that in the uh, character creation screen. I think dark skin makes a little more sense than pasty white. And of course we need chest hair and stubble. Everybody knows that chest hair and stubble actually helps you survive zombie attacks. Is it a sweater or vest? Definitely the vest. Let's see. I think red kind of sounds nice. That looks good. Let's see. How dark does this go? Okay, I kind of like that. Pants. None. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to run around in our skivvies. Let's see. What would go with red? I think like a... Probably like a white type color. That looks pretty decent. And shoes. None or shoes. I will go with shoes. So we got our chest hair. We got our stubble. That's key. How's this look when you have none? Kind of hard to see. It is a small character. Bald spot Picard. What the hell is a Picard? Is that like the monks have? Alright, let's go with receding. And then I think brown or probably black. Alright, we'll go with this. I think that looks good. Beard type. Also required. If you want to survive, you got to have a beard. Let's go with full. Okay, so here's... Oh yeah, and this is of course where there are a bunch of new classes. If you saw the previous series, I think that they only had from Carpenter up. And you can see over there what they provide. So he gets Carpentry 125%. I'm not too familiar with the way the stats work and skills and things like that. As uh, security guard. I think we played a park ranger. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that this is how the park ranger was set up. But I could be entirely wrong. We're going to go to the farmer. Which is uh, farming 125% bonus. Fitness and strength are 5. I assume that's out of 10 if I had to guess. And here's our story. So our guy, Jose Alvarez, was a baseball player. And he was pretty much on the track to go pro, except he got hit in the head with a pitch. And not only did it make him hard of hearing, but he got so afraid of being in the batter's box that he essentially lost his career. So he's an adrenaline junkie, being an athlete and all, you know, that sort of thing. Seems kind of fitting. And he's stout. He was a big guy, big hitter. And after he got hit in the head, he became a gardener. That was his way of coping with the loss of his career. All right, so we got to balance this out. We're at negative 18 points. So seeing as he was an athlete, he lost his career. Now he's sitting around on the couch all day. He gets overweight, so he's fat and uh, can't move around very well anymore. Probably not the best thing for running around escaping zombies. He's a slow learner. Just because he obviously grew up only playing baseball, spent all his time doing it. He didn't do much reading or anything like that, didn't pay attention in school. He made all of the uh, dorks do his work, that sort of thing. Unlucky, just because I had to balance it out. And I think, I think that's it. Nope, we're at negative two. What did I miss here? Slow learners? Oh yes, and then we got uh, Sleepyhead. Right, actually now I'm at positive two. I forgot Dexterous. Where are we at? Here we go. Boom. Okay, so there we go. There's our stats. He moves faster when he's panicked. He has blunt accuracy. Makes sense. And I do love the baseball bat, of course. Best uh, weapon you could possibly have in the zombie apocalypse. Transfers inventory items quickly. Plus one to farming. Smaller perception radius. I don't know how that'll work. I'm curious. Overweight. He's slower running speed and he tires easier. Uh, needs more sleep. Decreased e uh, XP gains. 
uh, Stout is knockback from melee weapons, so that would be interesting. And he can carry more weight. And then Unlucky, I have no idea how that will affect the game. Just says, what could go wrong for you often does. There it is. That's Jose Alvarez. This will be interesting. I really wonder about that overweight. That will probably hurt me pretty badly. I don't know. I've, I've also heard that some of the... Some of the traits and things like that aren't implemented, so... It'd be funny if I picked all of the good traits that aren't implemented and then all my bad traits are implemented. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I'd die on day one. But we'll see how it works out. Alright. There it is. Look at that. Zombie already. So, looks like we're in a really small house. Let's go ahead and check out the what we got in here. Cooking pot. Gardening spray can. Might be useful. Instant popcorn. Vinegar. Okay. Book. Nails. I think nails are probably a good, probably a good thing to have. I think I read that you can attach nails to a baseball bat, and turn it into a spiked bat, which would be awesome. A spoon. That's our only weapon so far. Not good. I would like to see at least like a frying pan. Let's see. Bath towel. Bleach. Hot and balls. Hmm. Wow, not a great opening uh, bunker here. <laughs> that uh, could be a lot better. There's hardly anything in here. Usually, usually you get a weapon, not like a better weapon than a spoon. Oh man, this is a little scary. All right, let's go out. I got to keep in mind that I'm overweight. I'm probably a bad idea to run around in general, but I think especially bad for Jose Alvarez here. Bad news. Zombies already. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh wow, that was easy. Oh. Oh god! No! No! Did I die already? Holy shit! <laughs> wow, okay. This is a good start. So we're already running for our lives. That scared the crap out of me. I heard a bang. I should have known to... I, that was a bad call on my part. I should have, of course, looked around and kind of cleared the uh, cle cleared the area. Wow. Surprised I'm not bitten or something already. That was... That was pretty brutal. We need to get a weapon. Climb through. Oh my gosh. That's such a tiny area to climb through. <laughs> okay, let's get a sheet. Close this window, and let's cover it up. We need to, uh... Oops. We need to, uh, find a weapon, for sure. That's the first thing. Close curtains. Alright, let's hope this is empty, because that was... That was scary. Alright, very similar to my opening place. There's red wine. I wanted to make him... Oh, here we go. I wanted to make him an alcoholic, but there are no, uh... There are no... Traits related to drinking. So I thought that was very weird. There's some chocolate. We should probably take that. Cereal. Okay. Matches. That would probably come in handy. Okay, let's grab that. Though I've never started a fire in this game. We're panicking already. Never a good thing. Some cigarettes. We really need to find an early base of operations. I think that probably a place with two floors would be nice. Obviously, several containers for carrying or holding things. We're just in an area of, like, trailer park. I don't know. This is kind of the perfect <laughs> starting point for our character here. <laughs> so he got hit by a pitch and a zombie in that building. He got hit by a pitch and uh, lost his baseball career, and then he relocated to a trailer park and uh, ate himself to the point where he was overweight. Let's see. Do we have anything in there? I'm probably thirsty already. Okay. I should probably check the door first. I'm in the habit of just going right to the window. It seems, seems like it saves you time in the long run. Alright, let's close that. They can still see me, but it'll give me time to escape if I need to. 
Butter knife weapon. Oh, there's a frying pan. Okay. We're probably better off with the frying pan than the uh, knife just because we took that blunt benefit. The baseball player benefit. Let's see. Check the... I should probably equip a weapon now that I think about it. Where are we at? Uh, equip. There we go. I still find the menus to be a little... Eh. They need a little work. But, ew, dead rat. Dangerous uncooked. Okay, so we could cook that baby and... Kind of wonder how long it's been sitting there that it's still worth the uh, effort to eat. Expert farming. So, there it says this book gives you XP multiplier for the level 7 to 8 skill. That is a long way away, so we wouldn't really have any use for it. It'd probably be nice to put it in, like, a container in our, our building, wherever we decide to kind of settle. But I think carrying it around this early in the game, not going to do us much good. Let's check this one out. If, I think that what I need to do is probably head in a direction where there's some bigger houses. Which, quite honestly, I don't know the map, so... I feel like I have been here, and I think if we went south on the screen, so to speak... We would head into more of a neighborhood area. Oops, damn it. Alright, climb through. Got a boy. TV dinner, okay. Probably not a bad idea. Come on, baby. Canned soup. So a lot of food here. Okay, let's grab this container. Grab. Rolling pin. That's another decent weapon. Let's see how heavy that is. 1.5. That's pretty heavy, though. You don't get much carrying weight. Like, I got 15 pounds. Max. So, you really gotta be careful about what you pick up. Looks clear, looks clear, good stuff. Socks, yo-yo. Wonder if I can, like, can you play with the yo-yo? Because your character will get bored. And it affects him. School back, ooh. Equip on your back. Oh, okay, I've never had a, I've never had one. Cool, okay. Interesting. Nice. Not bad. It's looking up a little bit more. Oh, I should probably eat something, right? Let's see. We'll start with this chocolate. Can the cereal go bad? I would assume it can, but you would think... You would think it would take a while. Alright, there's a little bit of food for us. Are they trying to break in? <gasps> oh, I just wanted some water. Damn. Oh my god. Uh, shoot. Okay, so we're panicked, thirsty, and it's unpleasantly hot. I always get this exposure. Not sure. Uh, okay, thirst increased. Yeah, that makes sense. And now we are getting wet. So I think getting wet is taken into account, too. This is probably not good. Well, it looks like a nice house, though. This might be where we... We might have to hunker down here for the night. Let's see, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we're wet now, so damp. Get out of the rain or you'll catch... Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, very good. Climb through. I feel like they've made it easier to climb through windows. Close that. Alright, let's clear it. And then we're going to cover up these windows. Add a sheet. Yeah, we don't want to get spotted. This is a uh, little dangerous. A lot of, lot of zombies out there. Close the curtains. Good stuff. Oh, we're in business now. All right, let's check this. Uh, flick the switch here. Got a, we still got electricity, of course. Magazine. Can we like, eh? Let's just, let's just read it real quick. I'm not sure how much that'll stave off boredom, but. Okay, and then we can do some drinking. One thing we gotta look at doing is finding containers for carrying water and kind of hoarding that up, because I do know the water turns off eventually. Let's open this up. Okay. Alright, the bedroom has an open window. I, I might not have a sheet. Okay. So we need to... Oh, there's our baseball bat, guys. Nice. Yes. That is exciting. Okay. 
Okay, we need a... I think I'm out of sheets. That's the only problem. Let's see. Yeah, we are out of sheets. Not good. I need a sheet to cover up that bathroom... Or the uh, bedroom door. Window. Jesus. Baking pan. Bowl. Kettle. Spoon. Hmm. Alright, first off, we need to get our... This isn't a bad place, I don't think. Not a bad place at all. So let's go ahead... Can I get my inventory, please? Thank you. Did I put that in my... Okay, I think we got that right. Okay, so let's put those away. And we're going to equip the baseball bat. Just makes more sense, obviously. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to take this sheet off. Okay, let's just get out of there. Actually, let's turn that light off. And we'll add this. Looks good. Close it. All right, we got a uh, little base of operations here. I think that I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode now. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a comment below, and I will see you in the next one.